Warning, this video contains an overly excited artist. Tea and snacks are advised. Hi. Today we have a super, super, duper exciting Ferris wheel press box. This is their biggest box so far. This is heavy. This is real heavy. I can, I can barely lift it. So I kind of know what's inside. They did send me a press release this time because this is this is like they told us us the creator creator team that they have. Uh, they told us this is like their way to thank us. And oh my god, I'm so excited! I'm going to pull up that email just so I have some reference and just so I can let you know. So this arrived today. I have not looked inside. All right, so I have here the email. They're just letting us know this is their bold end to 2020 and this is like their biggest PR package ever. I'm just so excited, I cannot handle it. So first of all, excuse this poor setting. I'm currently in my... I'm just going to shatter the illusion for you. Yeah. So this is the only window that I have that catches direct sunlight. Uh, this is basically my bedroom. I am sitting on my bed. Uh, I am going to eventually get a studio place. Like in the other bedroom, we did a little renovation thing. So it's not currently completely empty. Uh, so we'll see what's going on. But for now, I'm going to be jumping around place to place to see the best spot to film. But yeah, this is what we are working with now. Allow me to just do a little disclosure, of course, disclaimer. This uh, Ferris wheel press is not paying me to say any of this. They sent me the goodies for free, just for me to play with, and then I share them with you guys. They do not pay me, they do not sponsor me. All of this excitement is my own. Let's just open it, I already cut up the tape. Just this paper, I always keep this paper because it's amazing. Let me just remove it, because it's crinkly. Okay, off you go in. Oh my god! I'm so excited. Okay, okay, so there are a few extra things in here because uh, the, the team is just the nicest people ever and I had asked them if I could try Tanzanite Sky. This ink has baffled me since ever I found this company and this is really cute. So one of the PRs actually told me that this is her favorite ink ever. It's called Pumping Pumpkin Pack. As I was saying, Pumpkin Patch is her favorite ink, so she really wanted me to try. And I also have here their brush fountain pen. This is basically the first thing I found from them. And this is what brought me super crazy about this brand. It's their brush fountain pen. So I asked if I could try one and they were super kind and they saved me this extra over what's inside here. So I'm just crazy excited. I don't even know where to start. So. I guess I can kind of introduce this. So this is their Autumn Collection inks and they have their new format which is 38 millimeter. So this is their big boy format. And this is their flat format which I've seen images and it's adorable and I'm super excited to hold it in my hand. These are shimmer inks. And underneath here, there's a sketchbook. They released sketchbooks. What? Okay, I really don't even know where to start. I'm going to, for today's plan is to unboxes and swatch. So I'm going to do the demo arts in a different video because there's so much in here, I really don't think I could do everything. And I really want to take my time and brainstorm and figure out the colors and just have a great time. In case you, I'm super excited in case you can't tell. I think you can. Maybe let's just start with Tanzanite Sky. So this is a really deep purple, blue maybe? Oh. oh, this is new. They have 85 millimeters here. This is new. They didn't have this This little 85 millimeter here, but I really wanted to try this color because I don't know I feel I feel like I'm going to love it and this will be I think my one of my favorite colors ever because I really like their deep colors Next we have like I said pumpkin patch. Let's just open it up. Oh, it's so cute. I, I don't gravitate a lot towards orange. Uh, if you look at my artwork, there's barely any orange in there. Oh, it's cool. It's like, ooh. Uh, there's barely any orange in my works. But one thing that I found out recently is that they have two cats in the office and their packaging always has cats. It's something they hide because they always hide cats in the packaging, see? 
Here are the cats. Okay, I'm going to just get the w away out of the way the things that are in this release. So this is their brush fountain pen. These pens are expensive. They are. Just the presentation itself. Just look at this. It's so sexy. It says here, write history. And then pull it up. So these pens, um, this is lacquer. They recommend that you don't put the pen, the nib, the cap thing over it. So otherwise you're going to just scratch and damage the lacquer. Cautions and cares. Do not post cap onto pen when writing to, avo to avoid scratching the finish. Yes. Oh my God. I'm going to try and do close-up shots. I never really done them, but I'm going to try and do close-up shots separate and putting them here because the barrel in this is absolutely ri ridiculous. It's super engraved and it comes with a converter, I think. Yeah. Ooh, oh, that's really cute. Even the converter has the rat tat, which is something they Mench a lot inspire them. The rat tat tat of machines from industrial typing and industrial things. That's pretty much their inspiration when it comes to design. Oh, I'm super excited to see how it writes. I think I'm going to do the shimmers at the end because I'm really curious. So we have a green which is called Misguided Mistletoe, a champagne, sparkling champagne and wondrous winterberry so these are shimmers so i'm going to put them aside i think i'm going to do i'm really curious about the sketchbook <laughs> but let's look at the colors let me see let me grab their info so the first color we have here is mars moss park green on their website here we go look at it i have seen swatches of these uh creepy nibs here on youtube did their swatches of this collection and if you guys don't know him he's very funny just go and check out his channel he's mostly about inks and he's pretty funny he did a swatching video on lady rose talking like a, a proper old english lady the whole time i mean commitment so this is moss green so it says it's inspired by the often misunderstood moss park in toronto toronto ontario oh my god this true this true mossy green ink has a comforting tone with warmth and welcome. I mean, this is a Canada-based company, so they really do stuff based on their locations, which I found really cute. So let's open this up. Yeah, I, I, I noticed Creepy Nibs had the same problem as well. The boxes are a bit difficult to open without damaging them, which is a bit sad because the boxes are so beautiful. Oh no, I cut it. No! I cut it a little bit. Yeah, I know uh, this is going to be a theme. Darn it. Okay. Okay, yeah, so it has this little protection and here's the ink. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so cute. This is inspired by a pocket watch. This is what they mentioned in their info before. When they were they created this shape for their uh, their summer release and this is inspired by a pocket watch and it fits so perfectly on the palm of my hand and I have pretty small hands, so it fits perfectly. A cool thing they have added is it says the name on the back, which it's super helpful. I usually keep the inks inside of their cases and this tells me their color. If these boxes are not as secure like it happened, I would probably would not keep them in their box. I would probably keep them like this. That way I already know the color without having to do like the little looking into the sun and seeing what color it comes out as. Looking at it like this, it has a sort of really a green tone, but then the packaging is more blue. Super curious with that and I just love it. I love it. So I really like this design, especially because I already have almost all the colors. <laughs> And I don't have any more space, so I really appreciate their smaller size. Autumn Auburn, which is this guy, which is, this is the design that I have on my sketchbook here. Vintage letterpress type blocks, charming stationery and creative instruments adorn this auburn wall with curiosities and collectib collectibles. Autumn Auburn, let's see if I can not destroy the boxes. Oh, haha, <laughs> that wasn't too bad. That was not too bad at all. Oh, it's so cute. Look at... 
from Auburn. A good thing. You can do this. You can stuff them together. So if you are on a bookshelf, they can be like this and they occupy way less space, which I just, I really enjoy. The, you have less ink than 80 millimeters, of course, but I've honestly been using my inks <laughs> a lot and I've barely have reached half. And I really do appreciate the information of the ink in the back. This really, really is appreciated for someone that uses this a lot. One of my favorite shades that I've seen the swatches is Royal Rhubarb. Moody and mysterious, this stunning rhubarb ink lends true to its name with a deep purple tone red. You have a little owl and then a little tree. More owls. They don't have a lot of cats this time. Let me, by the way, show you the other boxes. Look at it. This is just the shelf thing. And the back is like this. And then Moss Park Green. It's just basically a park. This really reminds me of Versailles. I've never been to Canada, so I really don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Okay, I think I've got the hang of it. I just have to put my finger here and catch this bit. I still bend this, but at least I don't break it like I did the first one. Ooh, if it's like this, almost purple, I'm totally game. Uh, again, I just love how they feel in their hands. They might be less stable because, again, creepy nibs uh, spilled one. I think it was this one, actually, because they're less stable, of course. They're smaller and they have this little eye thingy. So, you just have to be more careful with this, but I mean, I've used their little charger things and I've only spilled it once. I just, I just pretty much am careful when I'm using it. I just refill it to a, a dish and then I close it immediately. So I might have to do the same with these because I really don't want to spill them. A goose pipon, no idea what that means. At Ferris Wheel Press, we, we've never been shy about taking our inspiration for our surroundings and goose pipon is no exception. This whimsical mustard green ink is reminiscent of walks through local green space, uh, taking extra caution to steer cl clear out of the not-so-friendly Canadian geese. I hate geese. They're so mean. So mean. Okay, so you have a little pond. There's a golden geese here, which is cool. Goose in that case. And yeah, even the windows. So I... Uh, Gold foiling, I mean gold foiling. Aren't we all just big old nifflers? It's too much. Look at the wings, wingspan of this beast. This will fuck you up. They really are mean. I do not like them. They have teeth. They're mean. <laughs> yeah, I got the hang of it now. Yes. I will not break them. I think I know my least favorite color is sweet honeydew because it's just a muted green that I don't really appreciate, but this green. I love, we call it in Portuguese dry green. I have no idea what you call it in English. If you know, please let me know. It's my absolute favorite color to paint with, in terms of green, of course. So if this is it, I'm super game. Like this color, I love this color. Because, I, know, I don't know, I, I like greens that are more towards the yellow rather than the blue. Like forest green, I hate it. It's so yucky. I don't know why, I just, I honestly hate that color. This, I like. I like this green, so. I'm curious to see what it looks like. Oh god, how do you say this? I'll go Ken Maple, okay? At three, oh god, numbers. Oh god, numbers. At 3,653 square kilometers, Alcon, Algon Ken Park is home to an abundance of vibrant flora and fauna with the true star being the Algoken maple. Oh, so it's that red tree thing. <laughs> I sound so not knowledgeable about these things. Okay, yeah, so the box has just trees and just gold trees around it. What's this? Oh, it's a little letter here in the middle. Yeah, so it's pretty much all the trees. And there's a... Is that a buffalo? Yeah, there's a buffalo on a raft and a goat. This is gonna be a long video, guys, so... You should have grabbed the refreshment here. I'm, I think I saw the swatches in this and this was a vibrant red, like vibrant, vibrant red. So I'm curious. Here it doesn't seem like it will be that vibrant from the little tech thing. But if I put it to the light, it seems vibrant. It's very red. It's gonna be interesting. 
Yeah, I'm super excited. I have no idea what I'm going to paint with it. I have no idea absolutely whatsoever, but since I'm not doing the, the drawing today, I have a bit of time because I really do want to study this carefully. So, last of this collection is Beaver Dam Brown. Find yourself deep in the forest with Beaver Dam Brown. This ink boasts deep reddish brown undertones with overall warm feeling, warm feel, to make your notebook or sketchbook as cozy as a semi-aquatic rodent's abode. So this is basically a beaver brown, I think. So again, we have just little beavers going all around. They don't have a lot of browns, I think. What I have been using for skin tones, it's Lady Rose and Candy Marsala, but those are like a pink and a red, but I use them for skin tones, so I might have found another skin tone, we'll see. I definitely got the hang of opening these now. Beaver Dam Brown. So I'm really curious if this separates to a red. This are all the inks, the normal inks basically. And then we have the shimmers to the side. And here we have a massive sketch. Oh my God, it's huge. This is a hefty boy. So this is sketchbook, the sketchbook. It's lay flat blank pages, 240 pages with 160 GSM paper, acid-free, and an accordion pocket. Okay, this is hefty, boy. Can I open you without having to go and get anything? I can, yes. I think, I feel like I need to zoom you out. But you know what, I'm going to take the box out of here because I think I'm done with the box. Away with you, box. Thank you for your service of transporting my goodies. Goodbye. Okay. This boy is big. It's thick. Look at this. This is like a hardcore, hardcover book. I'm really sorry about this janky setup, guys, but this is honestly all I have right now. <laughs> Moving really messed up my filming game. Let me remove this beautiful... Oh god, don't fall. This little place thingy, whatever you call it. I did not expect it to be this big. And it's just blank pages. Yeah. Let me see, do you fall flat? You do, relatively. Let me see here, the middle. Kind of, kind of. I mean, I just opened it, so. The paper seems fine. I kind of feel like I need to swatch these here as well, because I usually do my swatches here. These are my swatches from the other collections, so this is all the colors that I have. I usually have these on my wall, so I can reference what colors do I want to use, because I forget things. <laughs> But I kind of want to swatch all of the colors here. I'm going to do a swatch of this as well, just because I really like this paper. And this is a paper that I usually work with, with inks. So this tells me what I want to see. And I might do a swatch here as well. We'll find out. So that is it for the sketchbook. The accordion pocket is here. Checks out. Yes, that's a pocket. And... This is a lot of pages. Where's the bookmark thing? Bookmark? Hello? Oh! Oh, you're big! Okay, you're blue. I like you. I like you. You're pretty. Okay. I'm in a crazy mood today, guys. <laughs> I'm in so, such a crazy mood today. It's been a crazy week. It's time for the shimmers. Let's start with sparkling champagne. Why not? I'm really curious how they did shimmers. I have not had a shimmer ink. I have like an acrylic ink. Oh, I can see the shimmer in the bottom. Can you see that before we shake it? Can you see this? Little shimmers in the bottom. Let's shake it. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Look at this. I'm so excited to write with this. Let's go for misguided mistletoe. I have never tried shimmer inks that you can actually like put in your fountain pen. This is oh, this is gonna be fun. <gasps> This is all the shimmer in the bottom. <laughs> Let's shake. Okay, all the shimmer is gone. <laughs> oh, there's a little bit here. But okay, okay, I saw a little bit of shimmer. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to try this. This is gonna be fun. This, yeah, this is like Christmas colors. And Wondrous Berry. <gasps> Look at this, you can already see it. This is all shimmer in here. This is all deposited. 
Shake, 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 shake. Yeah, the glitter is gone, like the deposited, but it's pretty much all here. I am going to try and make sense of some of this, and then we're going to start swatching. Ah, oh, this was a wonderful experience, oh my god. This is wonderful. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am, because I am enjoying this plenty. <laughs> okay, let's start swatching. I have cleared this a little bit, and I also took a break because I was feeling a bit excited. I got myself a drink. I'm going to light myself a candle, because I was a little bit overexcited. <laughs> And I needed to take a step back and relax on these sheets and I might also swatch the, in this just so I can also see how this behaves, the paper especially, because I'm curious and I might just, I mean, I need to find out what works in here even if it's just 160 GSMs. Let's start with, I have my water, my brushes and my fountain, my, not my fountain pen. My dip pen, since I have a fountain pen here, I'm going to choose my favorite color out of the swatching and then I'm going to fill that with this. It's because I don't know which color I want in, in it yet. So I'm going to find out. Do I have an order that I want to do this? Rainbow? Do these even have a rainbow? So, I mean, if I go by yellow, red, pink, blue, green, and brown. That's kind of a rainbow. So let's go for that. Okay, these are not that stable again. <laughs> these are not super stable. Like I knocked the table while I was cleaning up and they just went domino effect. The little thingy here, I'm going to get messy all over already because I am like that. I am mess in a person. Ooh, very awesome. Very awesome indeed. I'm still in a weird mood, but I, ooh, I have the, <laughs> the fear of letting go, I really do not want to drop this. As usual, I'm going to dilute them a little bit because I... Shut up, dog! Oh my god, that worked. <laughs> I'm a wizard. Um, this just reminds me a lot of raw sienna. This to me is a raw sienna. It's a warm color and I like that. But I'm very scared to let the bottle go. That was awesome in Auburn. So I'll go can maple, which I really don't know how to say that. Okay, so I think this thing just, it's stuck to, oh God, this is vibrant. This is gonna be really vibrant. What the hell am I gonna paint with all these colors? <laughs> okay, okay, we, we did not have a red yet. And ladies and gentlemen, it's here. We have a red. A red has arrived. Oh, God. This is bright as hell. I really have no idea what I'm going to paint. That's why I like it that I'm splitting the videos because I have no idea. I like to do this little thing. Oh, look at it go. It travels beautifully. Now going for Royal Rhubarb. Let's see. Let's see. <gasps> yes! Yes! I knew I was gonna love this one. I, I'm a sucker for these kind of tones, like burgundy tones are my absolute favorite. I can already see me doing a character and this is her hair color. Yep. Yes, indeed. This is decided. Whatever I paint, this is her hair color. Yep. <laughs> I love it. I like this color. I do, I do, I do. I love it, I love it. So far, my fave. And I have not spilled anything yet. Let's not talk too soon. Moss Park Green. I'm curious because on Creepy Nips, I know I keep talking about him, but this is the, this, he's the only person I've seen swatching the color so far. He did the swatch and this separated beautifully and I'm a sucker for colors that separate beautifully. Like right now, it's just green. It's just a normal green, but I think it then separates to a blue and I hope it does. It's pretty. It's a moss green, like they said. I like it. I much prefer it than, for example, Sweet Honeydew, which just for me had zero interest, but that's just a personal 
preference I much prefer yeah this is most definitely autumn colors and this is reminding me like red and green for some people is Christmas for me it's Portugal because our flag color I'll put it up here it's red and green so <laughs> I just find it funny where people are like oh it's Christmas colors I'm just like which is our national hyphen hyphen whatever you say that so any Portuguese people here if you want to sing along with me so yeah I just see Portugal <laughs> which is funny okay gives pipon pipon I still don't know how to say that I'm curious about this one because this seemed like my perfect green my perfect green give me my perfect green come on Yes, this is my perfect green. Yay! Yes, I've I found my true love. This is my absolutely perfect green. Oh my god! <sighs> I just ah oh, yes. You are you you found me, sir. You and I are are an item. You and I are just going to elope. I used to mix this green with yellow and black in watercolors. That's how I usually make this mixture. And it just gives me this exactly. And I love it. I absolutely love it. And I'm very happy with that. Oh, we have the first spill. The first incident has occurred. Uh, drink break. Now for last, beaver. Let's see, how do you behave? So far, loving. The autumn in Auburn, very Rossiana, very cool. Rhubarb, beautiful, absolutely stunning. I think so far the color I'm least attracted to is the maple one. Just because it's so punchy and so red, I don't usually go a lot for red colors. But it is a stunning color. I, I'm loving what's happening here. Oh, we can already see a little separation in blue. And that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, I'm curious about you, beaver. Show me. Oh, it's deep. It is quite deep. Oh, and I can see already. Damn it, I already spilled on the green. Yes, I can already see the red undertones. I can see that it does separate a little bit towards the blue, which is surprising, but not 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 wanted if that makes sense <laughs> surprising but i welcome it <laughs> very much okay so these are the beautiful stunning colors very autumn very very autumn i'm going to let them dry see how they look dry i think the color i'm going to be putting either rhubarb i am liking the brown for writing we'll see we'll see we'll see i'm going to quickly Swatch these. I want to swatch the ones that don't have shimmers yet because, I mean, obviously the water will be shimmery. So let's just swatch these babies. So first we have Pumpkin Patch and in this, in this case you can see the full size they have. They also have a small size of 5 millimeters, I think. They have like 3 and it's a way you can also try their inks if you want a cheaper way to try them. And it's a way you can carry the inks in case you need a charger. Your pen. As you can tell, it's much sturdy. Like, do this and it won't fall. Like, if I do this, done. <laughs> of course, it's something that comes with the design um, and it's understandable. And it's either you have a easier thing to storage but less stable, or just super stable and just there. And it occupies tons of space. Like, this itself is like maybe two inks, maybe three. So, it's a choice, basically. It's a choice that you make if you, depending on what size you want to get. Pumpkin patch. Oh, this one is also super full. Do not drop this. Okay. I can see the appeal. Oh, I can draw. Like, like a pumpkin person. I have pumpkin colors, so... It's no longer Halloween. But I mean, who cares? It's Halloween if I want to. I hence declare it's all right it's still halloween <laughs> and no one can stop me so that's pumpkin cat pumpkin patch really cool i actually like it a lot and 
I'm very glad that I could try it. So thank you so much, Rebecca. You are a gem. You are a gem. So ten in its sky. Ah, I've been meaning. I've been wanting to try this color for so long. I hope I'm not disappointed. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's it's well. Oh god. Oh. Ooh, that was shut. Okay. Okay. I do want to hold this one because. Ooh, this is deep. Mm, yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh. All I ever wanted. This is all I ever wanted. I can already. I probably can already tell that this is gonna be a bitch to lift. Like, you probably touch it and it lifts because their jelly bean blue does that. It's really stunning. One of the things I wanted it for was to mix with other colors because <laughs> I like mixing these and I like creating new shades and I like to create darker shades with these and I usually use either jelly bean blue or something else but this just seemed like the perfect shade for that and it's absolutely stunning I definitely want to draw a pumpkin now Are you ready for this ladies and germs? We're going to go for the shimmers Which one do we do first? Green? Green you knew, you knew what I wanted. Let's shake this baby up. Shake, 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 shake. I'm still in a crazy mood, guys. Yeah, see? It's cool because this has the protection, but it doesn't do the little, the little slick, slick, slick anymore. And it makes me sad. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> this is the type of green that I don't like, but it's shimmery, so points there. My question is, what happens if I water it? Can you see the shimmer more or less? What happens here? Ooh, what happens? I mean, this is going to be beautiful for doing Christmas cards, which I am probably going to try and do for my friends. I think it would be a cute idea. We're also doing a secret Santa for my friends, like drawing wise. So if I send it to my friend who got me, um, I might just do a little Christmas card for her. Not my fave, but in general, Green is not my thing, but it's still pretty. I can kind of see the shimmer, but it's still pretty wet. So let's find out afterwards. Okay, shake, shake, shake. We're going for Wondrous Winterberry. See the shimmer there. Can I see the shimmer in the paper? Yes, I can. And this is very Gryffindor. <laughs> this is Gryffindor all the way. Yeah, we have, oh my god, we have Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Gryffindor. Yay! My Potterhead feelings are there, are, are very satisfied. It's very subtle, the shimmer, but I mean, since this is for a fountain pen, I can totally understand that the mica cannot be overpowering. Otherwise, it just would clog up everything but it's much more noticeable here in the red. It's a much noticeable glitter. Even when it's wet, I can see it. Film it on my phone so I don't move you. And then I'll try and put it up. So yeah, I think I can show you. My phone quality sucks, but we're going to go to the last one, which is sad. I don't want this to end. <laughs> I really don't. I'm having a lot of fun. Let's go for sparkling champagne. And this one is the most beautiful in the bottle. So let's see how it is outside. Because in the bottle, it's like dark amber with little sparkles all around. So I'm super curious. Imagine just getting a card with all of this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, it's not custom to get cards here in Portugal. Like, my, when my friends said to do Christmas cards, they're like, oh, <laughs> okay, I have no idea what to do, but I will definitely do that. This one reminds me of Felix Felices, a subdued Felix Felices, of course. This is not crazy shimmer. Again, super understandable because clogging and stuff. Okay. Ooh, 
Now that the green is drying, the glitter is much more noticeable. And it's doing a beautiful thing here, which is separating. And I see yellow and blue here. So the green is coming ahead. The green is winning. One thing that I want to try and do, because I have this extra space here. Let's just do water, which is very messy now because of all the swatching. Just do water and I just want to drop ink in it. Let's see what it does. Boop. Look at that. Boop. Boop, boop. Boop. Uh, I don't think it has any glitter in it. Must need to probably need to shake. Aha, now it has. And just because we're. Whoa! Yep, yeah, see what I mean? <laughs> see? It goes all over the place. Just because I'm crazy, let's mix here the red and see how they work with each other. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. This is a mandatory. Do the bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. It's much overpowering. <laughs> it's overpowering, overpowering the yellow a little bit. Oops, it's a little bit overpowering, I must agree. <laughs> the yellow is like, bye. Let's do the little bloop, bloop, bloop again here. Let's leave that to dry for a second and I'll be right back. In the meanwhile, while that was drying, I decided to do a few swatches in the book. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. It is 160 grams, um, but it cannot take water at all. Um, I don't know what's these dots. I'm gonna ask Ferris Wheel Press, what the heck is this? What's going on? Hey, a quick intervention because I'm a complete idiot. So last night, I did some swatches here and you saw right now on the video that it created these little spots. I was completely baffled, like what the hell is this? So I sent a me message to the Ferris wheel people and they were super kind and they were like, did you by any chance use the liner paper, like the first page? And I was like, yes I did. So this is the actual sketchbook paper <laughs> and I was an idiot. So there are a little bit of spotting yet, but only in a few colors and in only in a few swatches. They informed me that this sometimes happens with pH neutral paper that is overly saturated. So in this case, using too much ink, it did bleed a tiny bit. It bleed a tiny bit, but I mean, it's 160 gram pages. It's super expected. The color looks beautiful. Let me see. If I can show you better, the color laid out beautifully. Only a few spots are in the autumn auburn, in the rhubarb, rhubarb color, and the maple. Uh, the moss green park laid beautifully. Also did the brown, what was it? Beaver brown. And here again is the autumn without less, with less ink and it laid out beautifully. I just wanted to pop in and say that that was completely my bad and what the heck was I thinking? So this paper, I mean, I would not do wet techniques here, but I mean, it's 160 gram pages. You wouldn't do that anyway. <laughs> so I was glad to see the, how the ink works on it, but I most likely will use it as either a notebook for ideas and quick thumbnails because there's a lot of, a lot of pages here. So this will do me a long time. Uh, I also want to practice inking with the fountain pen, just with lines, so this might be the perfect place to do it, just inking, and yeah, so this is my quick intervention, back to the video. Let's talk about this. These are not dry yet, because I made a mess moving this, so they are not dry yet, but you can already see a few things. When it comes to these, they're absolutely stunning. I love them. The moss, what was your name? So, the moss park green is beautiful. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I think it's my actual favorite and it might be the one that goes to my fountain pen, this little guy here, because I just really love it. 
basically my favorites are rhubarb, the moss green basically these last four are my absolute favorite the brown really surprised me but it has a sort of a violet undertone that I'm really digging the green is actually beautiful the moss green, I just, I'm loving it and the rhubarb is my perfect burgundy, so beautiful nothing against these two colors, the autumn and auburn and the maple but they're just there now, to the sparkle, I see I, sorry, I said, I spoke in Portuguese <laughs> I don't know what's going on. These two are the Pumpkin Patch and the Tanzanit Sky. Love them. Pumpkin Patch really surprised me. I really like it. Now, the shimmers. It's still kind of wet. Let me see if I can show you a little bit. It's still kind of wet. But can you see the shimmer? The green. I'm, I might take a photo and just try and show you because this is still wet. The green is very, very beautiful, I think Contrary to what I thought I think my favorite are actually the green and the red The yellow is cool But the glitter is not as noticeable It loses a little bit of punch On the green and on the red, it's really noticeable And I really like it, but it makes sense because basically The glitter is the same color, color of the yellow ink, so it makes sense they do mix very well. This line here is basically the, where it's wet. And that's something they do, which I like. I like that they do that. I appreciate it. That was very beautiful. So now for the final step for this video. So I just want to fill this up and just try it on some paper, maybe the notebook, just to see how that goes. And that will be today's video. <laughs> so let's go. I think I've decided I want the moss green, at least for now, but I think moss green will be this pen and I might change up the other ones, I had grape juice and blue velvet grass on my other pens and I might change it up, so we'll see okay, I'm nervous, I do not want to drop this okay, so how this work is you have the adapter, you just take it here, so you have it down yeah and then you put in a bottle and you push it up and the ink will be here and then you just pop it in and that should be that in theory all right it's already activated so hello not even see that that was terrible framing it almost looks kind of yellow I really want to place the cap in it just because it's a use of mine but I know I shouldn't my handwriting is really bad but the line is super consistent like it's not a flex nib at all it's super consistent it might be interesting to ink with it and it's also kind of rounded the nib so it doesn't quite scratch the paper so that's cool so let me quickly make this all pretty and we'll go into the outro this was the unboxing and the swatching of the autumn collection of Ferris Wheel Press plus their new shimmer inks for Christmas plus the brush fountain pen it was a lot in this video there was a lot oh and the sketchbook as well which is still drying and I am going to be doing demo art in the next video we'll try and see how it goes my favorite colors like I said before are probably these four these darker tones are super cool when it comes to shimmers the ones that pop up the most are the green and the red just because the glitter is a different color from the ink since the yellow is yellow and the glitter is yellow they kind of mix together but it is still beautiful but it's just a more subdued look so that is it thank you so much for joining me on this journey that we took of just swatching this was basically the whole afternoon for me <laughs> it was an adventure for sure but a very good one and a very needed and the one one that I was looking forward to for so long that I'm just so excited to be able to do this as always tons of links in the description below for you to see oh I've just reached 10k on Instagram and I'm super excited so to any of you that follow me on Instagram thank you so much and I also have a new link that I add in the description box which is for an affiliate code for Jacksons 
Jackson Art. So if you ever want to buy on Jackson Art, you can just use that link that if it's your first purchase ever, you get 10% off and it helps me a little bit getting some money to help get everything else running. Everything else is there, my Patreon, my shop, my Skillshare as well, as well as a two months free link for Skillshare there. So thank you again for being here. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, let me know in the comments which of these is your favorite ink. Again, not sponsored, they're not paying me to say any of this, I just love them. <laughs> that is it, thank you so much for being in again and I'll see you in my next video, bye!